All right, Zai here against the Pro Toss. Another toss on toss. What? All right, well, another toss on toss in Antigua. We'll see if this one's more fun than the last one I'm playing. If it is, I will only show one of them. So we'll see. And I'll repeat some of my messages in case I don't show that other game. Um, I will be going to BlizzCon. I will be going to BlizzCon. I got the time off I wanted, so that's cool. Got some time off next month too, but just in case I do show the first game and this one. No, I'm not going to show both. Yeah, so I'll say the same things in both games and you won't even know. Haha. <laughs> um, yeah, I got some time off four days in September, four days in October. I have been stocking up my vacation time. I've only used five and a half out of my 21 days. So that's pretty cool. I'm two thirds of the way through the year and I'm barely over one quarter of the way through my vacation time. I like it. So yeah, I got some days off later this month. Got some days off for BlizzCon, even though it's during the weekend. And uh, yeah, still got some uh, Fridays coming, I think. Cool, cool. That getting started, if you would like to see me at BlizzCon, I don't care. I hate you all. I kid, I kid. Uh, Sai will probably, you guys will all recognize him, so just come say hi to Sai and you'll probably find me too. I am the pretty one. I don't know if that's true. Probably not. Uh, I'm ugly. Okay, so as with last game, again, don't know if you're going to see it or this one. I will treat them all equally though. As with last game that you may or may not see, I'm going to gas steal. Fuck you. I'm going to gas steal my opponent to force him to foregate me, and then I'm going to stack. The oh, fuck. I'm going to try and not block myself first. Uh, I'm going to gas steal my opponent if I can, and that way he's forced to foregate me, and that way I can stack up um, sentries and hopefully survive and beat him in a macro game. How's that sound? Sounds like plan to me. Not really sure where, what my building placement's doing don't really care so it's risky stealing this gas just because I lose some early eco not losing probes that's a good sign but I do lose oh shit he did it to me too well I forgot about that oh so minor detail oh he's getting another gateway on me all right um I forgot to account for if he gas steals me as well as I gas steal him. Awkward. So it looks like he's going to outgate me. I'm fine with that. I'll throw down a gateway now. And he's chronoing something from the gateway too. I don't know if he's chronoing a stalker or a um, sentry. Either one has its merits. I guess I'll see what it is. All right, so he's just going mass stalker on me. I better get my third gateway so I can start warping him in. His warp gate should be behind mine. And I better get pylons too. Cool stories, I dumbass. Don't know what I just hit there. Yeah, he's double chrono and gate now, so he's gonna try and win this before. I need to kill it. Oh. How many stalkers he got out? Two. Now he's back to Chrono in the Cyber Core. I should be ahead of him on the Chrono game though, and I think our ga gateways? Warp gates came about the same time. How close is that to being done? 20 seconds? How long do stalkers take? 42 seconds? Totally not worth it. That was a dumb question. Um, don't know what I want to chrono. Can't afford sentries yet. I did get one anyway, though. The thing I like about the one sentry is if he pushes up with stalkers, I control how many stalkers get to be in the fight, and that's a big edge for me. The bad thing is I built a shitty, shitty wall, as per usual. And that's a bad thing. Yeah, I already said that. I will say it over and over. Words are hard. A couple of pylons I don't necessarily need yet, but odds are I'll forget them later. Don't want to forget them at a very inopportune time. Although, oh, here we go. 
If I can kill this guy and prevent his proxy pile on, that'll be good. Or just... He wasn't trying for the proxy pile on, I guess. Now I gotta figure out what he's doing. Do I want to try and push with Forgate? Do I want to stop his expansion? Do I want to expand myself? This is the coin flip moment of the game. If he switches to Immortals and I don't, that's very bad news for me unless I put some really good pressure on him. Um, well, I guess I'll find out. We'll see if he was smart enough to get uh, sentries like me. I don't think he'll have more stalkers than I do. He might have equal. I'm I'm kind of hoping he's expanding now. He can't wall off that ramp with the uh, probe. I have a ton of chrono. I can use that once I warp in this pylon. Assuming my probe gets off his ass. And let's see how it goes. Please be expanding, please be expanding, please be expanding. Shit! Yep, there's the immortal. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to lose that stalker. So, fuck. I need to try and get... Well, did he... I don't know, I need to push. Cancel that. Warp in four more units and go. No, you idiots! Let the zealots in! Warp in more stalkers! Wow, he's severely outnumbered. He threw. Oh, now there come the reinforcements. Focus down that immortal. No more Kronos. Wow, he sacrificed a lot to get those Immortals. He didn't have any... My sentries actually kind of screwed him up. That was cool. Is that an Artosis pile on IC? No, it wasn't. But it should be a GG anyway. Warp in some more Stalkers. <laughs> Oop. Yeah, 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 I win. I might show both games. They're totally different games, so you're going to hear some repeating stuff. And yeah, that was kind of fortunate by me. I'm kind of curious if that force field screwed up his units or not. They weren't good force fields. I don't know. That was weird. I didn't have my zealots in there. I'm going to go check that. Um, well, stop, stop. Okay. Let's go back 10 seconds. I'm still here with this game. One thing I want to point out. Play. He's chronoing. He's got... 36 energy, so he's still got plenty of Kronos for this, but he's chronoing a stalker. That That's weird to me. Like, you want to make sure you have all your energy for this guy, because it takes like four Kronos or something. But let's speed it up a little bit. Um, here's killing my thing. And now here we go. Double chronoing the stalkers. He. This is why I thought he was going to push out. Why are you chronoing stalkers just to kill this gas faster? I don't know. But now my cyber thing is getting ahead of his. And I guess long run, that's not a huge deal if he spends all his money and keeps up. But I don't know, it seems weird. And I hope, I really hope I didn't have vision to this. Okay, if I would have had vision that robo and not known it was there, that would have been really stupid. Alright, so that was that. Alright, at this point in the game, he's just getting his first immortal. So he has an immortal five stalkers. I just have a few more units than him. I did two extra probes wouldn't have made a big deal. Not really sure why I'm ahead. Continue. Okay, here's something pretty big. He's got money. He's got 500, 200, so he could have afforded it. He got two observers. I don't know if you need two observers against the Protoss when you know where he's at and he's close position like this. He probably wanted one to keep with his army, one to get mine, but I don't know. I'd get the first observer, then an immortal, see what's going on. Also, he got Immortal and then Observer. If you really thought I was going to attack, you should have been scouting with the Stalker. Instead, he got the um, he got the Immortal, and it wasn't doing anything. If he'd have gotten an Observer first, he would have known I was foregating, and he wouldn't have gotten that second Observer. He would have already had two Immortals out, and the third one might have come in time. Don't know 100%. All right, and one more time. He's moving out. He should have a... What? He has two observers and he didn't sit one on my army. 
But he's moving out, and he has four less stalkers, two less zealots, one more immortal. So he's down six units for that one immortal. He's got this immortal coming. He should have just waited. That would have made such a big difference. Anyway, let's watch the fight again. I'm going to slow it down. Uh, okay, so these two guys did get stuck not for long, but with immortals it doesn't take... I mean, that was like two shots. That's a lot of damage. And now he's focusing my zealots with the immortals. Not good move there. The Immortals in the front getting focused down. He's trying to micro now, but he's still... The Immortals are attacking Zealots. So game-breaking. They they lose 60% of their damage when they attack Zealots. Uh, I don't think it made the difference in that fight. I had more units, but man, if you're going to go Immortals, you've got to focus the Stalkers and the rest of the fight, you know. But yeah, the second Observer cost him possibly a full Immortal. And he just, I don't know, didn't micro as good, I guess. Didn't focus fire good. Okay, bye.